Welcome back to Fallout 3, everybody. Last time we left off, we came here and murdered the Roach King. And uh, pretty much why we murdered him is because we wanted this minigun. This, I felt like this was the easiest way we can get one. It's not even that good a condition. Neither do I even have ammo for it. But uh, we are also going to capture a dude that goes by the name of uh, Arkansas, I think. Is it Arkansas or is it... Maybe it's Arkansas. I'm talking about this guy's name here. I'm not talking about the state. Uh, let's, tr this one, right? Yes, but we want to take off that waypoint. Alright, so this dude, it's pretty tricky, tricky dicky dude. Uh, he, he's up there in the tower, or like in this like ruined building. And the only way I know how to capture him is Stealth Boy. But do I own a Stealth Boy? I don't feel like I do. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so the best thing I can plan here. Once we get close enough, we probably want to save around here. And uh, we're just going to go for the sneak tactic and see if we can get to him. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure it's going to be as easy as 1, 2, 3. But uh, we'll try our best. Let's save uh, right here. We're going to hard save. We're not going to quick save. We're going to hard save. Make a new one. Might as well. I didn't even mean to make a new one. But uh, whatever. Let's just, let's just get up to it right now. And uh, we are extremely slow. Holy shit. A little bit faster, a little bit faster, come on now. <laughs> so I don't know if I'll be able to complete this playthrough and a New Vegas playthrough by the time 4 comes out. There's a chance, but it's a really low chance. And I'm going through the game right now. It's uh, it's going to be very hard to just easily run through both of them. W was there always this like weird fencing here? I don't remember it if it was always here. Alright, well we got a like, concrete wall in between us and him. Alright, let's save. Let's save here now. Because I feel like this would be a better place to save. Okay. Can we, like, wait until nighttime? Oh, shit. Okay. Where's he at? He's up there. Oh, shit. Does he change spots? Because he needs to change spots. I don't think he changes spots. I don't want to sneak past him when he's like right next to us right there. This has just a clear view of me if I try and go in. Man, I wish I can throw a rock or something. <laughs> oh, he's doing a little bit shimmy. Oh, there you go, there you go. Just gotta watch the floor. Probably one of the biggest things we gotta do here. Yeah, see there's a mine right here. Alright, we're getting there. So I gotta know where I'm at at all times what I have between me and him right now like in the way from him seeing me alright is he right there hold on my mouse I don't have like my mouse pad like stuck onto my desk and I keep on moving it whenever I move my mouse where the fuck is he there he is alright this should be like Did he move back? Alright, he's right there. Oh, shit. Can we... Mm, I don't know what to do. Let's save again. Because we're, like, right here. Can I just... How do I go... <laughs> how do I go first person? <laughs> I don't remember. Alright, there we go. Got him! Gotcha! Don't worry about it, man. Hey! Whoa! Arkansas. Is it me or is the world spinning? Nah, oh my god, the world's spinning, man. Uh, I think you got something that belongs to me. Uh, I do? I don't think so. But go ahead and take a look if you want. You don't, you don't got a choice. I'm taking a fucking look. You don't get a choice, man. Sorry. Here, put, the, put on this collar. Oh, alright. This thing's heavy. I know, right? You're a slave now! A slave? I don't remember being a slave. Get the fuck out of here. You piece of trash sniper. I don't even know why you lose karma for that, because he's trying to kill you. But, you know, whatever. Whatever dumb way you can lose karma in this game, that's, that's one of them. That's like top five right there. Probably stealing from uh, Mr. Burke. Whatever that guy's name is, who tries to blow up Megaton. So yeah, that dude I usually have trouble with, but we kind of went past that nice and nice and easy, nice and easy. 
Um, now there's a bunch of mines. And, uh, you can make a good bit of money off of these mines. Oh, shit. A leaf blow? Wait a minute. There's a fire hose thing back here. Let's actually check out the fire hose thing and see if we can, uh, make another rocket launcher just in case we need one. Yes, there is. And we also want... Oh, who, who's the person? We saw him at the beginning. Shit. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot where that one was. We saw him at the beginning, uh, when we first played. Should I even heal any of my limbs? Nah, no, fuck it. I don't care. Uh, I think it, it might have been Crow. Which other, whichever one of the traveling salesmen. I'm pretty sure it was Crow. I'm not sure, though. But one of them had a rocket launcher. We talked to him at the beginning of the game. After we got out of the vault. Well, that one, like, fell on the floor. Uh, Arkansas. Now, this dude has a weird root when he leaves. He, like, jumps over... He just, like, run through the wall. What? <clears throat> I, can, I can speak English. I can do this. He runs through the wall. It's really weird. Uh, Alright, let's switch to this. What's in this mailbox? Nuclear cola. Vacuum cleaner. Is that what else we need? Or do I already have a vacuum cleaner? Did I pick up the leaf blower thing? I picked up the leaf blower thing. We need the vacuum cleaner. Brass nuts. I don't need those. I don't care about that note either. So there's a bunch of house here. Houses here. And there's weird things in all of them. I know one of them has like a model of a miniature house. But I don't know if any of these places have a significance in them. Other than loot. Obviously, but other than that, I don't really know. I don't really know what else they got to offer. We need a conductor. I think that's the last thing we need is the conductor. Oh look, it's a dead child. How how subtle. Uh, we'll take the pugilism il illustrated with the hell pugilism, pugilism. Uh, is there is there a conductor anywhere in here? This dude was having a fun time. That's that's the way I want to die. It's just like on a in a bathroom, in the bathtub, obviously. Anything underneath there? Is there a safe right here? I don't see no safe. I don't see no safe. Fuck you. Fuck your green plate. Sway in a minute. I have these green plates. What number is it? Five? It is indeed five. Yeah, give me these plates. I'm gonna use these antiques against my enemies. Yup. Alright. Should be uh good to go if we need to shoot anyone with our vacuum. I mean our rocket launcher. Here's another leaf blower. This is a good area to get leaf blowers. Never knew that. Never usually make the rocket launcher in any playthroughs. Even how cool it is. I just don't do it. A gun we're gonna get if we find some stealth boys, which we might have to do a quest in DC. Uh, we might want to get Vengeance sooner or later because that's one of the best guns in the game, and uh, it's it's OP. That's all there's to say. Let's get this. Oh my God! I thought I messed up. I thought I done messed up. Look, I reached the middle. All right. So let's check out these other houses. See if they have anything significant in them if you come from this way arkansas will actually shoot at these cars and try and blow them up he's like one of the smartest npcs in the game because i don't know any other npcs who try to shoot at cars to kill you we got 11 bullets in this uh 10 millimeter machine gun uh, no problem though uh hopefully it will keep us alive against whatever we do find in here is there a pre-war book i'll take that baby that'll be good to uh use against not using against anything. I don't want to use it as a weapon. Can we shoot a vacuum cleaner out of my vacuum cleaner gun? Cause that'd be pretty OP. That would be pretty OP. Why do I have 220? Uh, 220, what is it called? What's it called? Strength? No. How come I can carry up to 220 things? Isn't 200 is default? Did I do something? Maybe I put my strength up. I don't remember. I don't remember what I did for my stats. I can look at them right now if I really wanted to. I don't really care. <clears throat> let's let's get out of here. I'm gonna take a sip of water while we get out of here. Where the hell's the door? Is it this way? Oh shoot, a conductor, look at that. We got ourselves a conductor. We have enough to make a, a thing again. Oh here's the door. I didn't know it was here. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> My throat is getting raspy there. What the hell? Okay. Let's get all these uh, mines. Like I said, good money we can make from these. Mailbox, none in here. Uh, I think this is the house, the interesting house. One with the little, like, 
toy model of a house. Man, I don't think any of these houses have enemies in them, from what I know. What is that noise? I hear like a... Maybe I'm going crazy right now. Um, so this is Dead Raider. That's always a nice sight. Am I over in comfort? No, not. Right here! Model of home. I don't know what's in that, or why that's even there. What does it say? Radiation King? Yeah, this is a TV brand. Uh, some Dandy Boy apples. Man, those apples are dandy. And also a boy at the same time. But well, let's take a look around this house. Uh, Pre-war book. There's a lot of stuff in this town that allows you to make a bunch of the custom weapons. Or not the custom weapons. The weapons, the blueprint. Schematic weapons? Whatever they're called. Uh, surprisingly, I did not know that because I never really explore much of this town. There isn't too much significance to it. This is safe right here. This is how you get this is how you get good with goods. This is how you get the goods right here. I'll take all of it. Did I check? Yeah, I did. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's head back to Mario. Let's turn in this quest. I just want to go through this quest. This is going to be one of the main quests we're going to go through. We're not going to go through everything. At least I'm not going to try and go through everything. I don't know, though. Uh, there's something I do want to pick up. Really, I'm trying to stock myself on weapons first before we do anything crazy. And uh, it might be good to stop by Metro Church Falls or whatever the hell it's called. Something like that. And pick us, pick ourselves up a unique flamethrower. I don't know what it's called. I know the one in New Vegas is called Cleansing Flame. What's the one here called? Bunsen Burner? Something Burn Master? It might be Burn Master. Uh, hello, Mario. I don't care. I'm gonna make a rocket launcher. Okay. How are those hot little potatoes? They're hot as shit. I uh, got the minefield live. My very. There you go. Whole town is trapped. There's a sniper out there just Not waiting. Not quite for as much of a ghost town as they say, is it? Good work staying calm and collected under pressure. It'll be a great example for the book. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course, but it's easy to make your own, too. Thank you for the bottle cap mine. That completes the first yep. chapter. I don't care what you have to say. The second chapter is going to be a bit cool. For example, repelling mole rats. i uh, learning about. We'll do the injury one. Injury one is like the I easiest mean... one I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Can I sell stuff now? No, it's not what I meant to say. I don't care. Let me see what you have to say. All right. So we are just gonna sell things we don't need. Oh, and she's broke as shit. You know. Can I buy, let's buy some stuff off of her first. Does she have 5.56 ammo? I really need 5.56 ammo. Not 5.56. Um, the 5, 5 millimeter, is that what it's called? I don't even know what the hell it's called. You know what, I'll take 5.56 anyways. And I'll also take stim packs. Thank you very much. And then I'll just sell her stuff in return. Uh, you want some frag mines? Thank you. Good hunting. Thank you very much. All right, so now uh, we have to injure ourselves. Let me just repair some stuff real quick. Once of our repair these, it's not that good. We need to get our repair up a little bit higher. Do I have scrap metal? I don't have any scrap metal. All right, let's save and uh, let's do something extremely dangerous here. All right, see, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> That might have been too high. So we're trying to receive a crippling injury. Oh my. <laughs> we're just gonna keep on breaking our legs. Here we go. Oh! That did like two damage! What? Why did that do like no damage? What the hell was that? A crow? What was that noise? Alright, let's try again. Let's try again. Let's try from like right here. Oh shit! Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. I'm gonna give in and I'm gonna fully heal myself. This is stupid. This is dumb. Alright, now we shouldn't die. I've never had this much trouble with this part of the quest. Did that not cripple me? Someone blow my leg up. 
Did someone blow my leg off? This is stupid. Why is it so hard to cripple yourself? Oh, there you go. Ah, I'm hurt. We gotta get back to Moira. Ah, my leg. Moira, save me. We're looking pretty snazzy with our armor here. What button is it to do the turnaround? There it is. It's F. Finally figured it out. All right. Mario, our moment's dead. Can you save me? Well, how do you feel? Like shit. Oh, no. Blah blah blah. Here we go. That's a very enlightened attitude you've got. Shame it doesn't stop bullets, huh? Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and quit fidgeting. Ugh. How can you be walking around like this? Touche. Hello? Okay. I even stitched a little smiley face in you. It looked but like you just it. like broomed the floor with the hell. It's kind of hard to see from your side though. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical. Aha! All right, let's get the let's get some more research here. Let's do the repelling of mole rats. This one is an interesting one uh, because you actually have to do. Uh, you don't have to do too much actually. Never mind. It's not that hard to do this one. Uh, but yeah, we'll go. Uh, we should probably wait until daytime. But let me switch to this uh, to a repellent stick. Let me wait until daytime. Alright, you cannot wait in the air. Let's just shut the fuck up, you damn Brahmin. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Why do we got one Brahmin here? And why do we got it like... Like that Brahmin can leave whenever he wants, but he chooses to stay. He's a good Brahmin. Now I understand why we have him. You're looking for None of the above... Nope, let's not save over an auto save. That's just gonna be like ten times more saves. All right, let's wait until daytime. We're gonna go around Megaton because this is how I usually do it. There's a lot of mole rats around Megaton. Uh, they want you to go to the tepid sewers for the optional part, which we might need to swing by there if we can't find uh, enough mole rats, which I usually don't. You need to kill like four or five regularly, and then for the optional, you gotta kill like seven more. Something around that. Oh, is this crow? Crow? Is that you? Oh, this is the guy. I don't like Looking this guy. to trade? Hell yeah. Oh, this might be the guy who actually See sells it, though. What the good doctor has in his magic bag. No, nuclear Shall grenade. Who the, who the hell cares about nuclear grenades? I'll sell you a grenade. You want a grenade, pal? You want a sniper rifle? You can have a sniper rifle. What about uh, pre war money? Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure Here's doing you, too. What's the name of this guy? Deputy Weld. I always think of him and Prim Slim. Maybe they're like Lost Brothers. So yeah, around the back over here by Megaton, we can find a lot of mole rats. And it should be it should make our life a little bit easier for the beginning of this quest. But let us let us go on the hunt for mole rats. I don't see any though. Where are you where are you guys at? Where are you at? Oh, there's one right here. Hey pal! Come over here. Come over here, you little fucker. Just hit him once. Hit him once and you're done, because watch this. Oh my god, he's headless. Headless rat. And there goes your head. And there goes your head, too. Look at that, they just like smoke. <laughs> That's terrible. Alright, there's a couple more out here. Uh, we're going to do the optional, though, because the optional is always good. We definitely do the optional for everything. Seven more. So that's one more we just tested it out on. Is that one more? No, we might. this might be the first one out of seven. Seven more. And oh, that kind of repelled a little bit. Kind of. I mean, he turned around for a second, but then he came back. I don't know why. There's a couple out here. Just got to do a little bit of searching. A little bit of searching... Never heard anyone. I think one time I found a death claw somewhere out here. Uh, during one of my playthroughs, many playthroughs. But uh, I'm doing something that's kind of routine. And it's not fun if you play the game like 10 times in a row. Or at least like 2 times in a row. Start to finish. It's not fun to do the same thing over and over again. So I recommend switching it up. We might have to stop by the tepid sewers. Just because I'm not seeing any more mole rats out here. 
where the hell? I mean, there's a broken down house. No oh, damn mole rats, though. Eh. Maybe I'll put that away for now. Put that away until I see a mole rat. Is there anything of use in here? I know there's a couple of places out here we can check out. I really wanted to. I don't really want to. Ah, fine. We'll check it out before we end off this. Is that a person? Nah, that's a stick. That's a log. That's not a stick. But, yeah, this this area right here. This is a little factory. That's a ruins. There's a bunch of raiders there. It's not really safe there. I don't recommend that place. But right here, there's some more ruins. I don't recommend this place either. But this factory right here. This big-ass factory. Let's check this out. What was that noise? Oh, this scared me. I thought that was like the head of a death claw. I, don't know, I usually don't, like I said, I usually play P PS3, uh, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. So I never really hear the sounds like in my ears all the time. It's more of a speaker sound around my ears. Not like directly inside. I just heard like, I thought I, I thought it was the uh, fire lance falling from the sky is what I just heard. But it definitely was not the fire lance. What's, the, what's even in here? Alright, there's a board. I'm kinda bored of this place. <laughs> kinda stupid. Ignore that. What's, um. I don't think there's anything actually significant in here. I think I've been in here a couple times in pl past playthroughs. Any scrap metal? Scrap metal is always good to have. There's a bunch of cash registers. These aren't bad either. You get a lot of money off of pre war money. People like buying money of the past. Maybe they're like collectibles to people. How do we. The only way I know how to get to this area is just by jumping, but I'm having trouble. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That was a good jump. Is that a quantum? They ain't even a quantum. What What the hell? Alright, there's some lockers over here. And this was a complete fucking waste of time. Alright, I guess we're off to the tepid sewers. I guess. Wait a minute, there's an enemy here. Hold up. E I don't want to fight that guy. Ah, fuck it. I'm a man. To end off the episode two, we're gonna fight this guy. Oh shit, he got that. He got that, like. You know those, uh. Little, like, rackets you use to swat flies with the electric ones? That's what this sounds like. Man, this is the old laser. Oh, you get a little bit closer. It sounds a little bit better. This dude hurts. It's not even giving me percentages. Goddamn, have you ever hit metal? Have you ever hit metal with miscellaneous objects? <laughs> Or Eden, You're, you just got killed by fucking teddy bears and plates. How do you feel? Tell Eden you're a piece of garbage that just got killed by plates. Can I carry this armor? I can't. I barely can carry that armor. Can I wear it? Can I wear your helmet? Do I need power in your armor training for your helmet? I guess I do. Probably. Makes sense. Alright, yeah, that's gonna end off this episode. Can I pick up the gnome? It's the best weapon I have. It's the strongest one I have. Yeah, let's get out of this episode. We're going to go to the Tepid Sewers, and I'll see you guys next time.